the events surrounding birth or labour and how that might link to non-communicable diseases later on in life. So non-communicable diseases, something that's not spread from one person to another. Sorry, how do I go from one slide to you just click the You just click the mouse. Just click the mouse. Right. And the other... The other. Okay. So before we go on, I thought it's important for you to know my academic background. I'm actually a third-year English language and linguistics student, so midwifery, medicine isn't my field, but I'm not afraid to venture out, of course. So the kind of things that I'm studying at the moment is world grammars, the history of English, and discourse, argumentation, and rhetoric. So very different from midwifery and labour and birth and that sort of thing. I also like to mentor college students, you know, with the widening participation team at the university to help students who are from you know, economically deprived, socially deprived backgrounds to encourage them to come to university. And my my own dissertation area, which I'm not here to talk about, but I thought I'd mention it, is historical linguistics. So how languages change over time and particular of particular interest is the English language. Okay, so going back to what I'm here to actually present. So the research that I'm presenting today, it's what I've done in my research internship 2021, which does seem like a while ago, but the reason why it's been a while to come is because we didn't have the Beaker event in 2021, but then in 2022 I uh, took an interruption from my studies, so you know it's very lovely to actually have the chance to come here finally. So the internship I did was part of a program at the university, giving undergraduate students an opportunity to work with a staff member who was already research active in a particular area. And, you know, it just gives us a chance to also develop our own research skills when we're doing our own dissertation, like I will be soon. So now focusing in on the actual research internship program, this research is part of a program called the Cost Action, which is an interdisciplinary research network that brings together researchers and innovators so that they can investigate a topic for the duration of four years. So fortunately, we're still within that, because particularly in the sciences, as you know, research can become outdated very quickly. And so this was a chance to revive the project, and this is where I come in. But I think before we go on, it's important to know who I worked with at UCLan, the team, because they were instrumental in how this project developed and moved forward. And without them, I really wouldn't be standing here today. <laughs> 